Hello everyone, thank you for having a look at this video. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial how to install Total War 1942. And we just released the newest launcher, the ModDB website. Well, what does this launcher do? It will just update the mods whenever a new patch has been released. So, how to install Total War Zero, uh, the first release? You just need to download the launcher. It will create the first. It will download the first release. So, what is what are we going to do? We just go download. And we click the download button, and it will download the launcher. Where do we put the launcher? Just waiting to finish. Yeah. Okay. We copy the launcher from our download location, and we go to the folder where we have Rome to the War installed. This is the Rome to the War root folder. And this is the folder where the Rome to the War.x is located. So we just copy and paste the file here. Uh, I'm going to rename it to, to get the one away. And now when we run uh, before we go before we run the launcher, you will see I don't do not have 1942 installed already. So it's not here. I just deleted it. So we run the launcher. Well, I will do it as administrator because then uh, downloading is better. You will you will, might get this uh, Windows Defender smart screen pop up that the launcher might not be safe, but I programmed it myself with Visual Studio 2017, so it's safe. It's just Windows thinking it, I'm putting some risks uh, somewhere in, but it's still safe. So, as you can see, the launcher is now downloading the first release, 1.0. And you will see the update progress, now it's downloading for the server. And as you can see in my program structure, it's created the 1942 folder. It, it will have a log, so uh, if you have any problems doing this later, just send me the log so I can check uh, where the problem is. But now it's downloading the update. And it will have an image gallery, a small image gallery right now, but it might be <laughs> enlarged whenever I got new pictures to mod. So you cannot hit the play button when it's updating. Because otherwise your game might crash. So if you have a uh, Total War 1942 running, just exit it before running the launcher. Okay. Well, it's downloading now. It's now at almost 30%. So we're just waiting right now. So this is the easiest way to install the mod. And I got a lot of questions on how to install the mod. Manually, because uh, before we have all zipped versions. As you can see, the installer is downloading the mod as a zip version before it's being extra extracted. And it's now uh, just empty file, but when the download is complete, it will be 1.7 gigabytes. Yeah, a lot, a lot big mod. And we are not even ready because buildings. Will be implemented in zero, no, in patch two, two but dot zero. Yeah, I'm sorry for my bad English, but I'm Dutch, so uh, I was really bad in English at school. I had to improve it myself. So while it's updating, we will go to the page where we downloaded it, and I will show you what we uh, had before. Well, the launcher has been uploaded by me like uh, 14 minutes ago. And uh, well, we had the demos and the release, the first release. Well, you can download it manually when the launcher uh, does not start. 
what you have to do is you hit the download button and you will download the first release by hitting this this link here it's very big so you will have uh, maybe to wait four hours five hours if your connection speed is not that much but as you can see where did I put the launcher? Did I just quit the launcher? Yeah, I just quit the launcher. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so, do not quit the launcher. Yeah, don't hit, don't hit this cross over here. <laughs> it will exit everything. Download. So now it will download again. As you can see here, okay, we'll have to download again, but my internet connection is not not bad, so we have to wait. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just hit the wrong button, I guess. I don't really know. But when you download the, the, the first release manually from uh, internet, you will get it in, well, why did I put the folder with all my patches? Let's have a look. Well, I have a lot of stuff. Yeah, you. You will get this zip file like like uh, uh, Total War 944, 942 version one. You will open it. And you will see this folder. Now the problem is that some people will just uh copy and paste this whole folder inside the root of Rome Total War but that's not how it should be done okay it's 34% again when you download this mod manually you need to did I What's wrong with my PC? Okay, well, I have to <laughs> open it again, I guess. Well, where did I put it? Well, we have to go to this folder again. This folder, zip version. Ah, I, I think I just closed it. Well, okay, you have to, you, you shouldn't not copy paste this folder in the wrong root direction but you have to open this folder inside the zip file when you download this and you will need to select all the files so the 9042 folder, the, the B folder, the game ranger folder for playing the mods uh, online together movie swapper, all this stuff yeah and as I said before doesn't matter if you use if you are using Rom Total War uh, Barbarian Invasion or the vanilla Rome Total War. If you have the vanilla Rome Total War, don't be afraid. The, the mod uses the Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion uh, engine, so I included this Rome Total War uh, Barbarian Invasion action. But it's not doing anything at all. Yeah, you, it it won't mess up your files. Okay, well, it's still downloading. That's, that's nice, so I can explain how to install it manually. So you will have to select You have to select everything inside the, this folder. Then You go to the place of the ROM to the one root as the mod is now installing the files right there you have to do it manually when you don't do not use the launcher. So well make it a little bit smaller. Oh well I like Windows. Well you have to just select and drag it right here and it will start copying all of extracting all the files right in the wrong dot one root direction. So when exactly are you good? When you have the Rome Total War with 9042 folder with every data inside, 
is still empty because uh, the launcher created that folder. And as you will see, it's almost done downloading mod. Almost 94, 95. So when it's downloaded, this file will be used. Just wait for a moment. And after it's completed, it will start extracting right away in the newly created 942 folder. As you can see, it's now used and it's now extracting the updates. Well, if you have a slow PC and you have some other stuff to do, you can pause the install progress to stop the, the background thread. But you can continue. <coughs> You cannot pause the download because <laughs> it's not available in the way I am programming. So the only way to pause the installer is by just by, when by uh, when it's updating what. Yeah, you will see it's not installing and not downloading. Don't be afraid about this this huge file because it will be deleted when you. Uh, when the updates has been completed. Well, waiting, waiting, waiting. We don't like waiting in this world. We want to play this mod. It's not that hard. By the way, I hope I set my OBS right so that I can show that the game is actually working when I, when I installed it. But we will see later. So, <coughs> if you use the launcher, uh, it will do everything for you. You only need to put this launcher file you downloaded yet in, in the role to the root direction. Run it, maybe as administration administrator if you have any issues. But it will work. If you do not trust me or my programs, you have to download it manually from the ModsDB website. You have to download all the patches and install it in the same way. Yeah? Always, always need to keep in mind that the 9042 folder, everything you download and you see a 9042 folder, everything inside that must be placed in the wrong to the root direction, not in any other downloaded folder, as you saw in the previously. Uh, zip file it's don't it doesn't start with 942 folder it starts with another folder because it zips all together so that's the base that's, that's the base key to get it more working but now i do the video tutorial so you all can understand now i hope that you all can understand how to install this mod but this launcher is very easy yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, because now when I release updates, I can just put them on my website, and I'll, I'll also put them on ModsDB. Don't don't worry. But um, first, I will get them on the website after testing, of course. And you will all when you start the launcher, it will completely search for new uh, new patches, new updates. That's why he's now installing uh, the first release because, as you can see here, it's I put the file that is <laughs> it's not the first release, so it's actually downloading the first release. But we have to wait; it's almost done installing the first release. And what it will do after that, you will see. But it's very you have to watch for it because we released patch 1.1. And it's very small patch with a lot of fixes. We're just waiting. Well, I promise this will be the largest update, largest download to do because it's the first release. The buildings, the patch 2 might be very large as well. I already started with it and it's looking nice. I won't give any spoilers because I will have to complete one culture. So um, 
well, everything looks nice, so I want to have Roman buildings inside German settlements. Yes, I'm doing German settlements first. That's nice. Okay, well, almost 100 percent. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. You saw it was it was extracting <laughs> patch 1.1. So now you have this option. Do you want to delete preferences.txt? Well, the mod comes with my preferences for the for the for the game. I like this. That's how I like game. But some of you might have low resolution screens, so it might crash. Yeah. So if you have any crashes, you uh, <coughs> yeah you you might to delete this one. But I keep it as it's my old PC, so I don't want to delete it. So. Now we have to full your running the latest mod version. So I'm on my desktop and I will create a shortcut. Give me a shortcut on the desktop. Yes, right away. And now there it is. And it will not run the mod, but it will run the launcher. As you can see here. As you can see, yeah, yeah it's running the latest version. And now we got test. Of course, it will start the mod. Oh, fail to initialize 3D audio. No. Okay. Wait. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tested the mod <laughs> on different platforms, so it cannot find Rontis War as it's the wrong launcher. It's for my programming release. So this one, it it will check if a shortcut exists, and then <laughs> if if not, then it will create one. So this one is super good. This newest launcher, newest version. Yep, it's starting the mod, guys. I actually hope you can see this, otherwise I would cut this, but uh, it's starting the mod and it's just playing nice. And so every time you close the game, I think the launcher will exit as well. I will have to check it. Yeah, ah, I forgot something. Yeah, if you can see this. It it still has, uh, has the old intro movies from Rome to Dwarf Vanilla or Barbarian Invasion. So, yeah, you can at least hurry it if you not can see it, if you can see it. Okay, well, it's working, the mod's working as you, as you could see. And yeah, the launcher closes when uh, it's done. So, how to swap the movie? Well, the launcher put this file here. It's gone, it came with, uh, with the standard, standard uh, release as well, the SID version. Just run the opening movie swapper 1942 Total War Bad. The opening movie has have me swapped. To return them to normal or back to Total War 1942, just run this file again. So if you have another mod, uh, just run this one again so you won't see the Total War 1942. But I guess you always want to see this when you learn about you want to have our intros. So, well, the launcher executed and we have a log right here. It's from, yeah, this one. It will just tell, tell everything. If you get any errors, they'll be put in a log so you can send it to me. Well, that's how, uh, how you can install a mod. So the, the Easiest thing is to download the launcher and just place it in the root folder and run it. And the hardest way is to do it manually. But keep in mind that the 1942 folder must be at the root. Yeah, just do not put any. <laughs> do not. Okay, I will just I will just show you once again. Yeah. Okay. Because the game was updated with the launcher, so now I will just uh, put the files there. 
Oh, wow, that's so much files. All buildings, tanks, everything is in this map. Okay, if you download the mod manually, you will get it in down your download location. You open the zip. And you will open that one as well. Do not copy this folder, I just told you. Warning. Okay. Well, to make my life easier. Oops. So select everything. Drag it right here. And now it will ask me to replace everything because I just downloaded it. But you won't have it. Yeah, if you have Barbarian Invasion installed, you uh, get one or two files that might be overridden. But they are just the same, so you can override them. Now, if you think about it, I'm just looking at this. 19,000 files. And we all change them by hand. Yeah, think about that. Well, that's a lot of work. Then we're talking about the textures of tanks, and planes, and soldiers, and everything, and buildings. We I implemented some, but they cannot be seen. Uh, text files, everything. Well, come on, I don't have 50 hour, 15 hours. Yeah, I think it might be very fast after all. It's just searching for everything now. Come on. Well, this is exactly the reason. I, I would just cut it off. You will believe me, I guess. So this is this was the installation tutorial. If you have any questions, just ask me on the forum or below this video. And well, I hope you all enjoyed enjoy the mods in the future. I recommend you all just use the launcher. The launcher is by far, by far the easiest way to install a mod. It will just search automatically for new updates as well. Well, what do you want more? Just trust me because I'm not putting any files in, <laughs> inside my programs. Of course not. I all like you. And I'm playing with you together as well on Game Ranger. Uh, what's on the forum if you have any questions about Game Ranger? I'm not doing this now because, well, the video is long enough. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Give me subscribes, uh, likes, whatever you like. And I hope I will see you soon. Thank you for your time.